Good morning, sunshine. Woo! Gosh, sorry. Oh, I had to take a little power nap. Ah, uh, boy. Ah. You know why I'm so tired, though? Mmm. Something amazing happened the other week. My wife and I welcomed our third child into the world Friday, May 15th. So take a look at this bundle of joy. Babies are such good news. And you know what? Actually, I want to see some of y'all's baby's photos. So right now, go ahead and, and, and drop a comment. Send a photo of, of your baby or of you if you when you were a baby. Let's share some some just some joy because kids are just filled with joy. So let's do that right now. Right now. Pause the video, click pause right there. You, I'm talking to you, pause the video. Take a photo of your kid, throw it in the comments. Let's have some fun here. Good news. Welcome back to WCQR's Good News. I'm Christian Studer. The first story we're gonna be looking at today is a story of two young girls who, in my opinion, should receive A pluses on home economics. At home economics. Do they still do home economics? I don't know. So these girls have been making headbands and selling them on Etsy to raise money for Compassion International. Like, I guess it's crazy. They're a great example of everyday people using their talents to help the community. So thank you. Thank you, Molly. Thank you, Emma, for stepping up. Now, having a wife that has struggled with anxiety, especially postpartum anxiety, what Christina over there at Cherished Moms is doing for, for mothers hits really close to home. With perinatal mood and anxiety disorders being the number one complication of childbirth, new moms need us now more than ever. And some good news is we certainly have not slowed down during this pandemic, but we've been trying to support new moms and moms, repeat moms, adoptive parents as much as we can um, because, you know, babies don't wait. Moms don't wait. Uh, they need us. So moms reach out to us to find support, resources, and more. And we found that once moms have healed, they uh, want to help. And we are so grateful for that. So if you'd like more information um, or would like to get involved, please reach out to us. And again, thank you so much, WCQR. So if you are struggling or, or if you need someone to talk to, you can reach out to her at Cherished Moms. And, and Christina and her team will be there to help you. So thank you, Christina, for stepping up and serving your community. Now with schools coming to an end, what better way to end this video than with the Pledge of Allegiance? So take it away, Mount Carmel Elementary. Good morning, Wildcats. Peace, Kevin. Repose. Attention. Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I hope everyone has a fantastic, wonderful Wildcat Day and a wonderful weekend. Thank you, everyone at Mount Carmel Elementary. Even though you haven't been able to gather in person and have your assembly like you would normally do, you refuse to let that stop you from doing it at all. So thank you for that. Thank you. If you have a good news story, I would love to hear it. You can email me at goodnews at wcqr.org or hashtag wcqr good news. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to take another nap. Love y'all. See you next time on WCQR Good News.